Hello, hello! Welcome to the new vlog! I am once again going to stupid mechanics. My car is literally falling apart, but it's the same issue. It's just now a new issue amongst the same issue. So we loved that. We loved that. I'm not tired at all. It's fine though, because I still have today off, so I can kind of, without having to like excuse myself from work again. I do have kind of like a cool fit. Who am I? Just for the dealership. No biggie. But I have listened to more Anthropocene reviewed. It's nice, it's just not holding my attention as much as I thought it would be, but I'm gonna listen to more as I go. I'll have to like different transportation back because I, I will be leaving it there, so that's fine. <laughs> um, silver lining, so I get more reading time, I guess. Seven hours later. So I've not actually done a lot of reading at all today, but that's okay. It's um, almost bedtime, but I think I want to try and start Pines before, just to do a little bit of reading today because I really feel like I've fallen behind today, but that's fine because again, it's just one day. Um, I have these on the table that I'm definitely not going to clean up now because this was for one of the photos for the photo challenge. Um, but that's a problem for another day. <laughs> I look literally just deep cleaned this whole room so I'm like sweaty and messy but I have so many parcels oh god there's like there's so many boxes so I thought I'll open it up because obviously I've done my shelves finally oh my god it took forever mm -hmm. he sees boxes it's like my time and I want to put the <laughs> move I want to put these books in the shelves but I obviously need to open so I thought I'll do it with you and I know it's not Christmas but wearing this today um so let's start i know what some of them will be but so honestly some of it i'm just lost because it oh okay excited i'm very excited for this one because i've been just piling them on not opening because again the bookshelves were such a mess i was just like i just i don't want to like open the new ones to like put them straight into the show anyway you get it um but okay so this is evelyn hugo by fairy loot and it comes with the fancy um 
slipcase, which is very exciting as well. Very pretty. And then we have gilded edges, first of all, which is always a win in my books. Um, and the book. These are the end papers, very fancy, and it's signed. Um, it's so beautiful and I'm so happy to replace my very, very worn out um, copy. I've actually, oh, I've actually already put it in my unhaul pile. I actually have to film an unhaul because I've been purging my shelves when I was doing them because I just, and still, I don't even have that, <laughs> an overwhelming amount of space left, which is just, I just don't understand. Like how? I thought I will have so much space and I, I don't. I just un underestimated the amounts of like books that I've had like around the flat because again, I didn't have anywhere to put them. So this was a very well needed reshuffle of the shelves mainly for the space, but I've also just thought I'll mix it up. So I'll do a little video if you would like to just show how the shelves look like now and what's the kind of rationale behind it if any, some of it is very, very random, but my other copy was like so battered and it was one of those paperbacks where the cover is shorter than the book and I hate that with a passion. So very happy to have this and I really enjoyed the book. Okay, next. Okay, this one is one of my favorite books I read last year, but it's The Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I think I've been saying this as well in place. This to me is what Cerulean C was to a lot of people, I think, because I just prefer this one. So it comes with a book plate and has the ombre edges and then has this foil on it, which is so cute. Oh, I love it because I didn't actually have a physical copy of this at all. <laughs> I've listened to it on audiobook, which is very good, by the way, the audiobook, if anyone's interested. Um, but I'm very excited to be adding this. I've been waiting for it for a long, long time. So yay. Okay, the next one is I know, I know what it is um, and it's a set. And this one's a bit more random because it's not super high on my like to read list, but the books are very gorgeous and I worked on them at work as well. So it has like sentimental value and they're gonna go so beautifully on that. I cannot, <laughs> I can't get over how like ruffled they look. Anyway, um, so this is a plated prisoner set and look at that. Oh, the spines. This is how the edges look like. Why is my camera being so annoying today? So this is how the edges look like and then there's bottom and top the black and then for me the most excitedly is the end papers it's the same on both ends for these but then the naked covers ah, i don't even know whether i should keep the dust jacket because they're so beautiful underneath i don't know what would you do they are so pretty i definitely want you to let me know if you've read these and if you think i would like them because obviously i now have them so i might as well try it but um these are the end papers for that and the foil. Oh, that is just so damn pretty. Oh, we also have this. And then the gleam one looks like this. Sorry, the cats are playing with the trash bags, I think, because we have a lot of trash from the deep cleaning to take out, but gorgeous. I know these obviously are also just as pretty, so I might keep the this jackets just so I don't lose stuff, but damn, those naked ones do be tempting. Okay, to mix it up, I also have an Illuminate book only box. Oh, I've seen pictures of this, okay. This is just like, all of it is foil. So I don't even know, oh no, I can show you. Beautiful. Um, and the edges are pretty cool. And the end papers are also really cool. And it has a little uh, foil bit there too. What's under? Ooh, pretty. I don't think I've seen that yet. Oh, so it's like a retelling and the curse, kingdom of Ithaca. Each summer brings the hanging of 12 maidens, a gift to the uh, vengeful Poseidon. For 17 years, Leto has escaped the curse's mark until now. Tun tun tun. I'm still to dip my toes properly into like the retellings and I just don't know if it's gonna be for me, but I guess we'll see. I have this and I have a lot of other ones that I still need to read. I'm just nervous. I don't know why. I just have a feeling it might not be for me, but this is why I still have not read Cersei and I know you all <laughs> shouted me to read Cersei and I need to, but I'm just at this point it's been so long. I'm intimidated. You know, when you like kind of wait for things for a bit too long and then it's just like awkward. Um, ooh, this is the Chloe Gong book. Okay, <laughs> another confession. I really need to get on Chloe Gong's train because that's another one that's left the station without me and I need to, I need to catch up. I need to play a lot of catch up, but these are actually like really 
light blue edges but I and we have really fancy and papers and of course gorgeous foil let me know which one you should you think I should start with and there's a couple of series out now and I'm just forever behind on all of it okay <laughs> last single book thing I really wasn't kidding when I told you that I was just like not opening anything and not letting myself look because it was just too overwhelming it's too messy out there Oh, they're gonna look so stunning together. Okay, so this one is Curse, which is the in the Gilded. Is it called Gilded? I think it's called Gilded series. Um, we have Gilded edges and a lot of foil here. This is how the end papers look like, and it is signed. Beautiful. Oh, that was a satisfying slap and a ribbon bookmark, which I always really love. I know it's like a lot of people don't care, but it just it adds a little bit of pizzazz to me. And I also have the fairy loot like full box. I don't even know if I should show you the items. I feel like at this point you've probably seen it elsewhere. So I'm just gonna get to the book. So this is the February, so I don't think it'll spoil anyone. Um, but the book is uh, City of Nightmare. I really heard great things about it. So I should really read that at some point. These are the edges. Um, we have some foiling on the back too. Um, it's a very interesting concept because there's actually like monsters and like dinosaurs, which I think is so cool. Look at it. <laughs> Avondale's art, which I always love. And we have end papers here to show you. There you go. Beautiful. And I also really like this material. It's like kind of like cottony. You can see like the... Can you see? I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's like textured, which I like. Okay, so now that I've made more mess in my <laughs> newly cleaned living room, I probably should go and tidy this up. But I have no reading update for you. I think I've started listening while, while I was trying to listen while I was doing my shelves. Because I... Oh, no, wait. <laughs> no, I've not spoken to you. I have... I do have a reading update. I finished Anthropocene Reviewed. I've not read it yet, but I think it's going to be like a four star. Some of the essays... Oh, my God. Chef Kiss. Five out of five stars. But some of them were just a little bit like... It was just okay, you know, um, but it's a really good read. I think if you need something to just listen to that it's not like a fantasy setting and you don't have the bandwidth for that because that was basically where I was like, I cannot listen to high fantasy when I'm doing something that I'm still thinking about things, um, which is why then, you know, it took me a very long time and many of hours were put into the shelves. You probably can't tell, but it was just, it was just chaos. So I did try to listen to the scones, Stone Sky, but I just couldn't, I couldn't focus. I, um, so I paused that and, um, other than that, I don't really have a lot of updates for you on that regard, but I did finish Anthropocene Reviewed. So that's my astronomy class finished. Whoop, whoop. That's the update. Um, it's Friday, so we have the all-nighter tomorrow. I am solely, like, I'm really unprepared for it. Like, this whole week just, like, ran from me. But I'm hoping to do a little bit more reading tonight, hopefully. But I also want to, like, maybe do my hair. Yeah, I should probably do my hair. I have to try and squeeze them somewhere in my shelves so it doesn't, like, um... Doesn't pile up again, I guess. Hello, um, we only have like an hour, I think, left before the all-nighter starts, so that's very exciting, but I wanted to update you that I absolutely did not read any Squire yesterday. I just started talking with people on the Discord. Also, if you can hear something, it's Logan talking to um, some of my Patreons because we're starting doing like D&D sessions for Aurelium, which is really fun, exciting. I'm hoping to get quite a lot of writ today. Obviously, I'm gonna do the sprints, so it's gonna be like interrupted, but no sprints tomorrow, so it's just sprints today. I'm gonna have a lot of fun, but also just chill and read. I'm very unprepared for it, so hopefully we're just all <laughs> chill and, and yeah. Um, but I did listen to a couple more chapters while I was like sorting my hair yesterday of the stones kind. I'm actually getting quite into it, which is good because I was really struggling a little bit. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So I should probably prepare a little bit for the sprints, but I also need to nip to the shop because I need like caffeine. I really overdid it yesterday with the cleaning and I'm so tired today and it's not ideal. Um, obviously I'm not staying up. I pretty much never stay up. Sleep is very important to me, but still I need to be like... <laughs> awake and engaging so i think i need to like run to the shop but but we're starting soon 24 hours of prioritizing reading that's another reason why i need to go to the shop so i don't have to like distract myself um okay we got this <laughs> All 
I was about to show you what time we're on, but it's reset, so I don't actually know. But we started at 2. It's 6.30 now. We're four and a half hours in, so we'll restart it. So this is how much time we have left, plus maybe the sleeping. But I wanted to update you because I have finished Squire, and it's actually a very nice surprise. Not that I was expecting it to be bad, but it's simply because I've not really heard it circulating that much around. And I'm I'm really, really loving it. It's Well, I mean, I finished it. The ending is a little bit rushed, but I still really enjoyed it. It has this kind of like charm and humor and uh, wholesomeness about it, but also very heavy topics. So I think it was balanced quite well um, we have the so the story is about a girl is allowed by her family eventually to go and join this program you know it's like they live in a different I want to say it's like a cast like a different social group because it's uh, I think inspired by Arabian history I want to say um, and so she's in one of those casts that is lower than the one that's in the ruling right and they are promising people who join this military program to become knights basically squires that they will get you know um, citizenship and 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 positions and power and and money and so she wants the adventure she wants to be a hero and she joins into this uh system that's obviously corrupt and and all sorts of messed up and then she discovers how messed up and um i do think that the resolution was a little bit i didn't realize this was a standalone i actually kind of hope wish that it wouldn't be i think the setup was so good and it took majority of the book and then obviously the resolution later was kind of maybe a bit too quick maybe a bit too rushed in places but i still really enjoyed it it's probably gonna be like a four star which is very decent um and would recommend it i'm just sad that it's not separated into more parts because i think there's definitely a lot to explore unless it is i need to check just really enjoyed it very very good um and so with that i think i'm gonna be continuing with the stone sky let me actually check where about i am i've been sprinting i have my setup there hence why i'm wearing the the uh, cloak so i'm like page 80 or something so I might be combining like audiobook and physical whilst we sprint. 38 minutes still remaining. How? I, oh my god, I already spent too much chatting. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm gonna go do that now. Well, hello there. My voice is like gone. I've been live for more than nine hours, which I'm pretty proud of actually. Um, so I've made a little progress into the stone sky i'm currently on page 175 which is pretty good i still get moments of when i'm just like not quite sure what's happening and then i get moments where i'm really invested because like a lot of things are coming together people are realizing information we had before so it's always nice to see them realize that information as well and some paths are crossing which is also nice but there are definitely moments when I'm just like, have I missed something? Which is possible. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm so talked out. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick little update that it is done. We have done it. And um, I've read, <laughs> basically. It's midnight now, so I will probably stop reading now. And um, get to unwinding and I will continue and pick this back up tomorrow i completely failed to update you on uh sunday but let you know how far i've gone so i'm currently on page 202 so we're getting good progress on the book i'm already back in it it admittedly took me a little bit longer to get into it compared to the second and especially the first one um but i'm in there now i'm in there i think the all-nighter went really well a lot of a lot of people have read a lot basically and we started i think it was 6800 or something uh books logged and at the end we have over 8000 so that's a very very good couple of days i think um but i'm gonna leave you now as it's monday now and i'll start the next vlog <laughs> Oh no, wait, I lie. Let me actually update the um, the progress tracker and then we can visualize where I am. Um, in the next vlog, I will be picking the one that's like an open spot. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna go with, so I'll have a little think about it. So the prompt is to match the book to what I'm wearing. So that's gonna be fun. Then I think we can focus on... Well, obviously, I still continue this and then we can focus on the quest, which is quite fun as well. So... Let's see on the progress bar. Too bad. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Stay awesome, stay fine. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Awesome.